Rocio from Gunmark TV and uh, I've got quite an exciting rifle here. This is the brand new SA Ultra CLX. I looked at this and thought, hold on, this is, this is just another BSA Ultra. Then you look closely and the minute you pick it up, this just screams com uh, quality. It's a completely different ball game and it really does um, elevate the BSA brand. Um, so yeah, it's it's the BSA Ultra sort of format. So as in a super cut down action, very short cylinder, short barrel. Um, obviously, it's BSA's uh, cold hammer forged barrel um, that they make in the factory. They're one of the last um, sort of manufacturers, air gun manufacturers, that actually make their own barrels, and uh, they they've got quite a reputation on, on in themselves. But yeah, this is, um, as I say, it's a cut down, sort of ultra compact um, hunting rifle. And BSA were building up a really good name for themselves anyway. Um, they started to have some wins on the circuit with their R10, etc., in HFT. And, um, you know, you, you couldn't ignore BSA. It, it was, it's obviously a very famous old brand. Um, and now, of course, part of this is they're celebrating um, 160 years. Uh, 1861 was. Um, when they were formed um, they've been a big family um, you know household name for years and um, yeah it's good to see them um, really evolving now what makes this different is the engineering quality on this the breech block I mean I, I was a fan of BSA um, but there was something about that old breech block it was all it quite a sort of dull finish to it it was, re it was fairly well made but it, you just put it alongside a few other brands and that, that alone seemed to hold it back. You look at this now and uh, they've really invested, I think they've invested in some whole new processes at the factory and uh, it's just pin sharp the way it's made. Um, so yeah, you've got your bolus bolt, you've now got a brand new um, rocker safety catch at the back that's got a red flag for live. Um, Click it across. It all feels really crisp and positive, um, and then so that's totally manual. But you can um, just and it, again, it's in exactly the right position. That is so easy to use. <clears throat> so you've got that there. Um, it's got a very nice stock, obviously made by Minelli um, in Italy. They're sort of becoming the industry standard, or have become the industry standard. The checkering on this, um, I sort of call it graduated checkering. It's quite original, and they obviously wanted an original look, but it's got sort of um, pin sharp points, and then it rolls over into flattened off. It gives it an original pattern and quite a nice feel to it as well. So you've got that on the, the pistol grip and the fore end. Um, just put it back on its stand a minute. Looking to the front, <clears throat> you've got a factory produced muzzle brake and they said they've done various uh, you know quite a lot of research with this to, to help the airflow as well um, and that it's it feels really nicely made and again unscrew that and you've got a half inch thread um, so you can put a silencer on with this we're going to take it outside and do a few shots in a moment it's particularly noisy but you've got a it's a you know it's a pneumatic PCP you've got a very short barrel You've got that absolute air expansion with by the very nature of the gun, um, so there's a real crack on this. So I would personally be looking to put science on it, but it's very accurate. I've had I've already had um, very impressive groups with this at sort of 30 yards, you know, total joined clusters. If you're going to go hunting, you're probably going to want a science on it. Further to the front, you've got. I don't know if you can see there, you've got your manometer there. Okay, I don't like gauges at the front. It's dangerous, um, you know, but so many manufacturers are doing it, but you're, you know, you find yourself almost looking down the barrel to check it. It's not the best place, but you've got a gauge there. Um, you've now got a, this is all, all metal again. I think they've used plastic on some of their models, but this um, dust cap is, plas uh, is metal as well. So that's all, all feels very nice again. Um, you can actually just pull that off. That's just come straight off, um, but and you can see it will reveal the um, valving underneath. But in use, you don't need to do that. You can just quickly slide it, slide it over to your valve. It uses the probe system of charging, so that will just push straight into there. Um, once you've charged it up, 232 bar, which is the figure that um, BSA always seem to use. 
charge up the system to that and then um, pull out your pro obviously you bleed your valve pull out your probe and then just shut that off and you've kept all your dirt out of the system um, again it's all very neat but it just feels so much better made than, than the previous stuff moving back um, you've got your obviously your breech block here you've got conventional dovetails on top um, you've got a two stage trigger here now this is apparently based on the um, sort of based around the R10 unit but then tweaked and improved and there's a, quite a lot of movement you've got on this so you can um, sort of lateral control you can adjust the trigger shoe I must say in use this is probably the best BSA trigger I've ever used um, there's a very crisp feel to it and um, yeah it's just all heading in, in, a, in a very impressive direction sling swivel studs as standard um, they're, they're all ready to go um, it's an ambidextrous stock defined sheet piece um, nice rubber butt pad so yeah it all feels good now the actual system of this um, you've got a uh, obviously it's multi-shot it's a new magazine it's um, 12 shot and you've got a um, it also shows you a shot window but we'll show you all this outside so uh, yeah let's let's put a few shots through it got a stainless steel pellet probe on this which obviously for robustness um, is a huge improvement on the old stuff if you didn't quite see the safety catch um, you've got that rocker very similar to day state in a way but the precision of it it's in exactly the, the right place when your thumbs around the grip you just thumb it off I'm doing this for the camera but it's just so easy you've got a red flash when you're live um, and yeah it works a treat <clears throat> it's manual again so you don't have to worry about it unless you really think you need a, um, a safety um, they're doing a special edition I should mention this at the moment this is 609 quid with the beach um, as I say it's a brand new model they're also going to call um, a special edition the first edition and that will be a special which will have a walnut stock on this and it'll also come with um, one of their scopes um, the EMD uh, I think 3 to 9 by 50 model so it comes with a scope a silencer and a big hard you know a hard case a compact proportionate hard case um, all in that's going to be 799 so just under 800 quid um, but as I say, the build quality on this is lovely. It's um, you know it is impressive. The more I you know in a very short time, I, I really felt I went through a whole load of emotions from a little bit of disappointment because it wasn't a match gun to my God, this is a beautiful little hunting gun. It's um, it's very nice. I'm just going to show you the magazine now. So cock the system. Put another feature they're mentioning is that you can't double cock it. Um, you can't double cock it from from when it's at. If you've cocked the system and and gone through. So a pellet's waiting to fire. If you then thought you need to cock it again, it then won't let you double cock. You still can. Um, if, you, if you're too gentle and too sloppy with the bolt, you can still cycle the mag and not um, cock the system. And on that basis, you can probably then you can still double load there. Um, very very tasty little magazine. This is the new magazine. Again, all incredibly precise. But you've got a shot count window. Um, that's really obvious and um, that keeps you in in touch with you know how many shots you got left so we'll just put that that and it's also got a magnetic a link so put it into the breech it push the bolt forwards and you're ready to go <coughs> so there you go um, it's incredibly smooth I must say on the cocking system and in um, you know in in practice and testing uh, I've not had any failure on the mag either it, everything's very precise as I say the build quality on this is exceptional um, it really is a new ball game for BSA um, I've had well incredible tight groups at 30 yards so far for a hunting rifle it's a beautiful little piece of kit um, very very sort of mouth-watering engineering quality on it so that's the new BSA Ultra CLX <laughs>